In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the question which was raised in one of the video which I published uh, a couple of days back. So the video which I published was what is entity in Microsoft Copilot Studio and one of the user has asked a question that uh, so let's read the question. So the question says that, do you know how I can ask the user a question, store that response as a string, and then check if that the string contains an entity based on the custom entity list I made. So based on my understanding, I can, uh, uh, basically uh, what I understand is that the user has created a custom entity and the user wants that custom entity uh, a list item to be selected based on the query response. and also at the same time need to store the actual response of the user as well so what i've done is uh, i have used one of the standard copilot uh, i've created a custom copilot named as garish express claim assistance so this is just like a demo example if i go into the settings and if i navigate to entities i have created a couple of uh, entities a custom entity so one of the custom entities garish custom size so this Basically, it defines a custom size for T-shirt defined by Kirish. Now, this is nowhere related to the insurance or expense claim assistance. This is just like an example which I have created. So if I go into the custom entity, what I've done is I have Id identified, like I've put some items like large, medium, short, medium, extra large, bulky, large, short, mini. And I've put synonyms as well, like if you want to you know, further filter out the information and if you don't want to use it to type in the exact word what is available within the list item you can use synonyms as well so this is my custom list so it has a whole bunch of listing over here now first thing create a custom list so this is a custom list which you have created and then you can go ahead and create a topic now i have created a topic called as get t size now I'll explain you what this topic contains. This topic does not contain anything fancy. It just contains one phrase, which is called as get T size. Okay. Now, if you see this get T size, uh, if I show you, let me, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just asking what size. And then on basis of that, I'm asking the user to select an entity. Now here I will select Girish entity. Girish custom size. Okay, so this is the custom entity which I have created. And what are the options you want the user to be selected? Okay, uh, so large, medium, everything, or maybe I just want to skip mini or short. Or so let me select mini as well, and let me unselect short, medium, and extra large. Right now, I have asked user to select the custom size. Okay, and now the system will identify based on my selection and store this value in a variable now this is save user response as variable now this is the variable details so where one is the name of the variable i can name it as where size as well okay so let me call this as where size and based on your requirement you can select whether it's a global variable or a topic which receives value or return values to original topic so i'll just click on save now in order to get the actual value of the user inputted text what i've done i have created an another message and here i have used a function like I'll, I'll just remove this and i'll show you what i've done so i've just created say this is the text inputted by user and from here you can go into say insert variable and then from here you can select system variable and just type in last message so last message dot id and last message dot text and if you click on last message dot text you will get the actual last message dot text inputted by the user right you click on save okay now make sure you save it and then uh, if possible you publish this information because sometimes the changes are not published in the back end and you may not be able to get the response back from the co-pilot. And I'll just close this pop-up. Uh, so our phrase should be get T size. So let me test this first. Let me restart the conversation and just type in information get T size. 
Now, before I do that, what I'll do, I'll just open the variable pane. So if I click on variable, I should be able to see the variable item which are used within this particular topic, right? So the variable is where size. So whatever user selects the custom entity type, the where size should store that value as well. So in the prompt, if I click on get T size, it is asking me what size you want like large medium bulky large short mini now i can type in the synonym as well or maybe i can select from the item over here so let me select medium the moment i select medium let's see what happens to this where size if i select medium then it says this is the text inputted by user medium now how did we get this information is because this particular this is the text inputted by user medium is the value which is stored as a last inputted value from the user so this is what i've selected and this is the last inputted text value by the user right now let me refresh this copilot again and let me ask the question again get t size now this time what i'm going to do i'm not going to select from here i will just say the t-shirt size which i need is short s and now if you see uh, the value which is inputted by the user the t-shirt size which i need is short s so it has picked up this value the text which i typed in as a last message and also if you navigate to say test and under topic you should see the where size as short s right so again let me ask that same question get t size it says which value you want to pick i will pick today and i will select mini m okay so let me type in mini m and let's see what happens in the where size now this was short as because this is based on the previous response now if i type in this value it will change to mini m so what we have done is we have identified what the user has selected from the custom entity which is over here as mini m and also we are able to get the text input back so if the user has typed in say three or four lines and if you want to store that information in some variable or you want it, that information to be processed by some other topics then you can use this uh, function so the function which we have used is uh, la the variable which we have used is the last message dot text so i hope this is uh, clear on basis of the question asked by a user so the user had a question uh, how to store the response as a string and then check if the string contains an entity based on custom entity list now how i would view this uh, response as rather than you storing the response as string and passing it what copilot studio does is it identifies the custom entity list and then on basis of that you will be able to store the response as a string because anyways it will be stored as a part of uh, the variable last message dot text so so i would rather frame this question in such a way that uh, i would like to identify the custom entity and then display the response as a string. So that's it folks. This is all about uh, using last message dot text to get the last message typed in by the user and also get the custom entity response back. Thanks for watching.